Hello and happy Christmas. I hope you and your family had a good day. I know my family and I had lots of fun. I'm sure you're all playing with your new toys. Maybe you got some Lego, uh, a new bike, a new PlayStation game or a new Xbox game. You can leave in the comments below if you want what you got. My son Ruben, he got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but this is my favorite present he received. As you can see, the paint is still fresh. The sword is still straight and sharp. It has not yet been warped by the glory of battle and the slaying of his enemies. I bet all of you and have your new toy still in perfect condition. One or two are probably still in boxes. But I want you to think back to last year. What was your favorite thing that you received? What was the best gift that you got? What does it look like now? This was Rubens. Lightning McQueen, a build your own Lightning McQueen. As you can see, it's not looking too good. The paint is starting to fade, the stickers are starting to come off, the spoiler bumper and bonnet have all but given up hope. His mommy and I got him this toy last year. But we're happy it's broke because it means he liked it. He wanted to play with it. Maybe some of you, your gifts are battered and bruised as well. That's how you know it was a great present. If it looks worse than when you first received it, it's probably pretty good. And the same is true of the greatest gift ever. The greatest gift ever given is not a toy, a not a phone, an Xbox, or even a car. We find out in the Bible, it is Jesus. That's what Christmas is all about. That's why most of the world, or a lot of the world, celebrates it. It's a day all about Jesus coming into the world. At the time, wise men came, shepherds jumped for joy, angels sang, Jesus was the greatest gift ever. We see in the Bible, in Isaiah 9, chapter, chapter 9, verse 6, it says this, for a child is born to us, a son is given to us, the government shall rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. This is an old book of the Bible and God speaks to his people and his prophet Isaiah in a sad and dark time. This time will not always go on forever because he says to them, because I am going to send the greatest present the, hope the world has ever known. A child, a son, the baby Jesus. And this baby would be more special than any baby before. He would change the world when he grew into a man. That's why he gets all these titles. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and prince of peace. He will be a king a protector, a wise ruler, and even greater, he would be God. But even though Jesus was the greatest gift the world has no, ever known, a lot like our presence, he did not come to us to be kept in perfect condition, to enjoy an easy life. Listen to Jesus in his own words about why he came. In Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Jesus says, for even the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus says that he did not, or the son of man, which is one of the special titles Jesus has, did not come to be served. He didn't want people to cook him special meals, give him their best treasures, clean his house. Instead, Jesus came to serve to think of others before himself. And how did he do so? By giving his life as a ransom for many. He served in the greatest possible way, in the deepest way. See, the baby Jesus who was born in a manger came to die on a cross for you and for me. Jesus came to be our ransom, which means the payment for our sin, so that we could know God and we could call him our father and we would have a relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. This is why Jesus is the greatest gift, because he can rescue us from our sin, 
if we trust him. He may have come as a new little baby, a wonderful, pristine gift. But as he got older, he was beaten, he was bruised, he was mocked, and he was broken. A lot like Reuben's favorite toy from last year. So in the next few weeks, when your new toy or your game maybe runs out of batteries, or a piece is lost, or a part is scratched, and maybe breaks, I want you to remember Jesus, who came as the perfect gift to die for your sin and save you if you trust him. If you're a Christian, when your toy gets damaged, remember Jesus and praise God that he was damaged for you. And if you're not a Christian this Christmas, Jesus came to save you too. And all you have to do is trust him and ask him to rescue you and you can know God as your father too. Happy Christmas, guys.